guys, you join me Snowman Day 6 and we are back on Valley Springs. So the good news is uh, our animal pastures are definitely working. Uh, oh, we have, if we just run over here, you'll see we have managed to graze this one fully and the cows have moved on from there. So they are now currently at the shed here behind us. So what we're going to do guys, instead of me running all the way over there, we're going to get the drone up. We're going to do a little bit of a flyover, check out the new pasture we put in. And also there's a little bit of surprise in store before we get on to today's main event. So with that, we're going to get this drone up in the air. So if we fly along this way, now there is a lot of weeds in the pasture. So we'll just slow it down here a little bit. You can see the grazing mod is working and they're chipping away. Probably have to revisit that boundary line there, but we'll, we'll sort that out. And there is a gap in a hedge line there I need to plug. Um, but yeah, we have now grazing taking place on this field. So once they've grazed it off once, we'll see then where the um, spots we've missed probably are. And once we know that, then we can pretty quickly... Uh, we worked that out so we're just going to go for a bit of height so we don't crash into any trees that is a big tree so the next thing we're going to fly down over here and uh, we have this land and what you can see there is kind of a patch running kind of across the middle of this field here where it's not very weedy and that is because there used to be a hedge line there guys and that hedge line now has been taken out by us and we now own this little section of grass as well guys so um, it came up for 41,000 and I think we had like 42 in the bank so we pulled the trigger straight away and um, said we wouldn't wait on it and yeah we now own this section of grass as well guys so it's really after jumping ship we now have a nice new field to cut and we will be cutting that today and um, that is the main event and um, if we pick up our speed a little bit We'll fly quickly over the uh, field beans and they are looking pretty well as well guys. They're growing away nicely. We cannot complain about that in the slightest. It's looking quite well out here. It looks like we're in for a good yield and our other three grass fields then guys are ready to cut. So we've kept them in good nick. The slurry has gone on and um, yep, all looking well so far guys. Uh, this is our other pasture now. So there's a bit of a difference there from where we were cutting the grass and the texture to where the cows have been. Um, I don't think there's much we can do about that now. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely um, work the tree. They graze 90% of it or 99% of it, I suppose is the right word. And um, anything that's been missed, I think we've plugged the gaps in this one. So going forward on the next cycle through, we shouldn't have many misses. And now our new pasture is over here, guys. So I must plug that gap in the hedge line that's right below us. And other than that, we'll be back here in a second, guys. And yeah, we'll be mowing grass. We have a lot more to do today. We're back quickly, guys. Um, we're just going to show something we normally don't show. We kind of tend to cover a lot of this off screen. Um, but that is we are drawing water from the main yard to our cows. So they do tend to drink quite a bit we've been realizing uh, especially with the herd number slowly increasing um, it seems to have gone from a stage of maybe we could fill it once every two days to we gotta fill it every day it's just gotta be a daily thing no messing about there so that is what we're at guys so we're just going to pull forward here and we'll right up alongside the truck and we're using our new stainless steel tanker which we can show behind and we should somewhere there i think it's there no a little bit forward have i missed this i am not entirely sure what's going on there normally we can do it but for some reason today it's not coming is it is it going to is it not coming because they don't need it? No, they definitely need water. Why? So we'll just we'll go around. So I mightn't have been close enough. 
So I think that's the first time ever, and it would happen on the one day that we are trying to. We'll jump external. The one day we are trying to um, show you exactly the processes that we kind of go through. Um, so we'll get a little bit closer. Maybe we weren't quite close enough that time around. But there we go. Maybe it's just the fact we are out by a little bit. But yeah, we're going to get this refilled. And that should be enough to carry them through for the day. We don't need to worry about them then for the rest of the day. If we jump out, we can see they have 16,000 litres of food. And the water is slowly creeping up. And we have milk in the pasture. So um, that is pretty good. So we have that done. So we get out of here. We close up the gate. And um, yeah, you can see a few bits that we've missed already. So as I say, it's a little bit of a working process, these these extended pastures mods but i do like it it's a great addition to the game we're just out far enough now we can close our gates and we'll duck up the side here again so yeah we're going to get back to the farm and hook up our moors and i think what we'll do is take a spin out to the new field that we're going to mow because um, that's the one we want to be getting done with um, again not a great yield going to be on this um, it's, and it's fairly weedy so again that those two fields or that one field now I should say it's not two fields anymore and um, those that field will be definitely wrapped um, and with the new pasture setup that we've got um, we're looking quite well now if you're wondering why I didn't back that trailer in it is I cannot back these dolly trailers to save my life so we ain't even going to embarrass myself with trying but we will get down here now and we'll hook up our front mower hook up our rear mower and we will take the spin i actually not 100 percent sure how to get to this field but um we'll i'm sure we'll figure it out a little, a little bit caught there so question is can I get out nope I cannot can't get out that way so we'll have to go this way tight old spot in the yard where we keep moors should really swap it to a moor that uh, folds up behind the tractor would give us a lot more space so I think if we strike down this road and I think it's uh, a left and then a left again straight away followed by one more left should get us up to that field and this is the first time we're actually going off the main farm to um, do a bit of field work so that's exciting as well guys something a little bit different so it will obviously will increase things and we can always look at putting a pat in there at some stage I think there is a turn here now think we can duck up this way so it's not too bad but uh, yeah it's nice to go in a different direction I can't wait till we get this field on our left and um, that is going to be one I'm looking forward to getting but I think this field kind or this road here kind of passes through our boundary line so we can come back and we could should be able to pull in in this gate and get our grass cutting underway from that side so it won't be too bad and I think we have another left coming up. There should be very little traffic here. And as you can see, this um, road bound kind of runs along the top line of our grass fields. And there's actually another gate coming up here somewhere. Uh, there it is. So if we need to, we can duck in there as well and get grass cutting going again. Um, so we have plenty of options. Um, no gate on this field or the next one i think but our entrance is coming up and as i say it is nice to see that uh yeah it's growing nicely guys so we have choices i think the one we're going to go for is down here yes it is and we can swing in here yeah so we're definitely going to have to change that three or more at some stage that's going to start causing problems as we get out and about on the map um, so we're just going to get everything unfolding uh, we're going to close this gate just so we can make a complete pass get it fired up get it lowered 
and we're away guys so cutting grass on our new fields now not sure the layout of the land so we're going to go handy enough won't send it full tilt but um yeah this is this is nice nice to have the farm the farm expanded just a little bit more oh there's a fair bank here I did walk him, so I kind of have some idea of what we're getting into, but um, oh, it's a bump and a half. So this is the other entrance that we could have came in. But uh, yeah, this is nice, and there's our new pasture in front of us. So this should give us a nice chunk of bales. I'd be hoping for maybe 12, 15 off this. Um, now, oh, as I say, the yield might be all there in the first year, so we'll have to see how that plays out for us. But yeah, um, I know we should have one long straight run all the way down to the road, so that is fantastic as well. So, just getting it done, and as I say, it is weedy out here, so um, it's to be expected. But yeah, we're, we're doing our best. And uh, hopefully going forward we'll be able to tend to this. Now obviously this will increase our fertilizer demands. It will increase a lot of demands on the farm. Uh, the lime issue is going to pop its head again. But I do think no matter what happens this was probably much needed. Um, especially on the pasture side. But this grass field, second one here was up for like 40 odd thousand I think so. Again, it's one of those ones you just don't say no to it. Um, 40,000 for a bit of ground is cheap. So we'll just try and tidy some of the corners. Now, as I say, there will be a little bit of the corner work to be tidied as we go anyway, because first time cutting here, we're not 100% sure what we're getting into. So we'll probably run three headlands for this cut. And. Um, we, as we get more and more used to the field we'll get a better understanding of it and that should help us going forward oh. and you can see this corner here we've missed a lot of it so yeah just going to get stuck in there now try our best to whip it all out and we still managed to leave a little bit there I suppose why not Right, see, can I get back here and just drop that with the rear more? Should happen. Hopefully it happened. It did. So, yeah. Process will be a bit slower in this field, but once we get back to our fields that we know and can work in, again, we should tip along then pretty nicely, guys. So, safe to say we're missing nice chunks of it, but we'll get back. We'll get back there. That's a, as I say, it's a small little corner of the field, and that's why when I saw this field blow opened up for a cheap enough price, we jumped in it because I think it just makes more sense to have a slightly bigger grass field that we're cutting. And now we can see the yield isn't fantastic on the bottom left there. Um, I shouldn't should have actually checked that sooner, and uh, yeah, we'll have probably a bit of work here to do to get this field back. But um, as I say, we'll be liming everything in after four cut or maybe after this cut will we do it we'll see how we're going for time and what our beans are looking like um that will decide a lot so um yeah now we're missing nice little bits little bits in pieces here and there it's just an me i don't know why but it does so I know it's like a lot of hard and backwards movement here, but it's the joys of mowing. So we're just completing our second pass on the headland, and hopefully now things will start to look a little bit better. So, um, this bottom field is yielding quite well, but once we get up the hill, it just seems to drop off for some reason. So we'll... Um, I think our next purchase will be the soil um, testing unit. Uh, I think once we have that obviously we can do our own soil sampling and then we can just send it off 
to the local university and they can do their bits from there it'll probably work out cheaper for us in the long run obviously we'll have a higher initial setup cost to get the unit in and um, set up with the soil sampling but oh we could have could have just missed a bit there but I tell you what this is going to be fun in the in the rake So just pop up here, we get the few little bits we're missing because we can and hopefully we get to all that. So let's go just a little bit external, we'll lift up here for a second, no we won't because we're missing quite a chunk there, well it's not quite a chunk but every little bit helps when it comes to this kind of work. So. We're kind of left now with just the big section down here, so we can kind of knock this out fairly handy. Um, yeah, we can kind of just keep flopping this bit of grass now, guys. And uh, yeah, as I say, we have the other tree fields that we're used to cutting to be cut as well. Um, and I know it's the joys of dairy farm. We only literally just cut grass an episode or two ago, or we were selling the bales last episode and we here we are start of august and we are flat out cutting grass again but uh, i think i think the best way to describe it is normally it's cash is king in this instance grass is king so i don't think we can say no to having too many grass fields so especially when we need as much as we can get for the animals that we're running and I think our sheeps and goats are finally at a stage where they're consuming more or less uh, in a year what the field produces so I think we're getting to the stage where we won't really be cutting that field too many more times um, so and the fact we lost the big grass field below that we were using as a pasture or that we were using to cut um, just makes sense now that we probably start um, looking to replace that land and keep increasing our land portfolio because I think that's what will win us out um, I was obsessed a while ago with trying to clear the loan and it dawned on me that the quickest way to clear the loan is to keep buying land and that may sound silly but eventually it'll come to a stage where we'll have enough grass that uh, one session of cutting grass and stuff could be worth maybe 100,000 to us and that's where then we can if we don't need any more equipment or we're happy with the amount of land we have our animals are consuming the grass well it's then a case of that's where we can um, just throw the money at the bank and get rid of that loan but one thing we do want to keep an eye on is an ability or the time to um, get out there and fix our silage pit not so much fix it but just update it I want to put a roof on it and all that other good stuff so but as I say I think the next purchase for us on the farm is going to be the the soil sampler because these fields will need to be done and it does cost us a pretty penny each time we go through the college directly so um, yeah I think we'd save a little bit of money now we might do it again on this one just because we could be waiting a month or two to get the funds together for the soil sampler and yeah so we might end up because once we've discussed ideally we'd want to get nitrogen back on it and spray it for weeds and all that good stuff so um, that is something we're going to have to look into as well at some stage and we'll have to check the condition of the soil as well not sure does it need um, flat lifting I think we're okay a while but again one of those things it could just be one of those it'll be good to do moments so we should do it and if that happens that happens so we're gonna press on here guys I probably waffle on for long enough but um just excited really to show you a new field that we're cutting and uh, yeah that's what we have in store so we're going to be busy grass season is upon us once more and depending on how we're looking with the new pasture and the old pasture 
and bales and stuff we probably will again um, do a massive silage session and just look to sell all this as quick as we can but as i say this field is oh, just missed a little bit this field will definitely be um wrapped and sold because the quality just isn't great and we're not going to feed that to our own cows over the winter so um but after this cut and for the four cut we probably will keep a load or two of our own grass bales so uh, we'll just load up and where is my gate oh straight in front of me couldn't see it funny old game so yeah i do think a different rear mower as well will probably be essential as we're going to start ducking in out of these tight gates um, and we can actually leave this gate open now because oh, because uh yeah we're we'll be coming back here with a oh what do we catch there the gate post wow this could be interesting oh keep it a little bit more this way and this tractor has a good lock oh Yeah, I think we're up on the ditch line in front, so yeah, we're we're gonna have to sort something out because that's getting tight, guys. That is getting tight. So we're gonna shoot along the road here to our next grass field, and um, we will make a start with it. Not sure how we managed to lift the steering wheel up, but um, yeah, we'll get into this next grass field here, guys, and. Um, start the process of cutting so we've three more fields to wipe out and um, at some stage we'll have to get into that second pasture and probably do a job on it because again it's fairly weedy not the best for our animals to be in um, so we want to get it looking like our other pasture which again at some stage we might end up having to do a bit of a reseed job but for now we're okay we'll survive with what we have so I should be able to roll down here to this gate and this gate is just here oh the briars the ditches and the briars we'll just climb up over that and yeah we'll just we'll get in the wrong side i know you shouldn't but look we will jesus is tight So we want to be here. Hopefully that's unfolding everything. It is. So we just want to get back here a little bit. And enable all mores. And we're away again. So we won't um, diddly daddle too much longer as I say we're going to crack on and keep cutting the grass as best we can and I will be back here guys uh, the next time probably doing a little bit of wrapping and baling and then we'll see our um, windrowing and baling uh, maybe even a bit of wrapping actually and it's just a case then to get everything loaded up and hopefully then coming into forecut and harvest uh, we'll have the time to do what we need to do but you can see each cut we've done the yield here is dropping away so it's coming down significantly and that's the lime effect I think more so than anything else in the field so you can see it really does kind of drop our percentages of yield down so definitely think of worth doing once a year so that way a first cut will always be the best um, and then our quality of grass will slowly deteriorate as we get through the cutting cycles and then we'll get back to a first cut, first cut scenario again where hopefully the grass will be in good nick guys so that'll be the kind of grass rotational plan obviously it might change a little bit depending on um, time of year and how what we can actually get done because as we grow the farm um, yeah, potential is there for maybe even needing a hired hand out here guys so that could be exciting Oh, we might throw out an old advert in the local area and see is there anybody interested in jumping in and 
be it mowing grass or just doing jobs that maybe we can not keep on top of it ourselves. So the quicker the farm grows, um, the more potential that has to gather legs and we'll probably end up having to hire somebody in. So it might be on a full time basis, could be a bit more maybe part time. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely on the radar guys, definitely on the radar. So I'm gonna crack on here guys because we're we're really just rambling now as we cut the grass. And yeah, there's no point in me doing that and you happen to suffer listening to it. So until next time guys, I've been Snowman86, this has been Valley Spring Farms, and as always, take care of yourselves and we'll see you all again guys.